<clears throat> well, I'd like to go over some of the basics of scanning. Um, I have the Epson Perfection V850 Pro. Now, like like all software, uh, there's uh, you know, there are many ways of doing the same thing. But this is the scanner that I used, and I've I've placed a slide inside by the area guide, and I'm pretty much ready to go. I, I uh, you know I clicked on the uh, on the icon to open up the menu, and then you just have to fill out what it says on the menu. Um, it's document type. It's the film with area guide. It's positive film. There are choices and every choice makes a big difference here. So, you know, there's a choice of color negative film, black and white negative film, or positive film. So for a slide, it's obviously positive. The highest quality is 48-bit color, so I set it for that. Uh, my goal is to make a photograph from this slide. Resolution, I have it set for 4,800 DPI. You know, the higher the resolution, the better the quality. I can make a, a really good print on 17 by 22 size paper. Now, my, my target size, let's say I want to make, a, say, a 16 by 20 inch print, roughly. Okay, let's, let's go even a little bit higher. Let's go, because the paper is like 17 by 22, let's call it 18 by 22 and a half, just a little bit larger, you know, to get as fine a scan as possible. Well, before you start, you have to hit, with my scanner, I have to hit preview first to take a look at uh, the way it's going to look, and I have an opportunity to make some adjustments before I make the scan. So the scanning is in pro progress here. I'm going to bring it to the front so you can see it easier. Move that over. Move that over. So that's my little slide down the bottom. First thing I want to do is click on a corner and just kind of lasso the slide. And you see that? Hope you can see that. Um, it, it's, it's kind of outlined the slide. I click on the top where it says zoom, display full size of preview area. So I want to see the full slide before I actually make the scan. Takes a little bit of patience. And that's the full the full slide. And I'd like that a little bit lighter. So under adjustments there's a slider, and this little menu opens up on the right. I'm going to make that a little bit brighter. You know, not too much. Of course, we could make all the adjustments we want once we get it into a file in our computer, whether we use Lightroom or Photoshop or Aperture or the NYX software. Uh, and there's choices of, of saturation. You know, I could, whoa, too high. Or make it into black and white. Now actually, I made it into black and white uh, uh, when I made uh, the print. Um, you could leave it in color, however, however you want to. There's all kinds of choices that you have to make here. Let us say I want to make a black and white print of this. And then I'm going to close uh, that menu. And then I click on scan. And then you have choices of where it's going to go, and how you're going to, to number it, and the, and the, and the image type. I, uh, you have options here, uh, you know, from JPEG, um, uh, anyhow, I always choose the TIFF, just straight TIFF for the, for the option. It's, it's a high quality uh, file that you're going to get. And then I just click OK, and uh, it says time remaining, two minutes. So that's a pretty quick scan. Well, while we're waiting, I'm going to show you the print that I made. I think you can see that. I hope you can see that okay. I made a black and white print. This woman walking up the stairs, um, a little alleyway in San Gimignano in, uh, in Italy. 
And I think that'll look nice once I cut a mat, you know, for it. Well, basically, that's how you do it. And you could scan any size negative uh, up to 8 by 10, uh, which I've done, and, uh, you know, any, any size print. You know, if you're going to scan a print, let me just reach over here for a sec. You put the print face down, and then you cover it with this, so light doesn't come in from the top. And then, of course, you have to remember to fill out the menu. And uh, basically, that's it. So, that's it.